Previously on Ready to Love, I sent the three men and six ladies on a weekend getaway. I'm ready for the sleepover. After nearly eliminating her, Aaron and Angel got cozy. I really appreciate you for coming back into the mess. Mm. Leaving Stormy unsure about Aaron's intentions. Courtney! I really just wanted to get some insight from you. He's all over the place. If something is worth it to you, you're going to fight a little harder. Once again, Alex and Tiffany bumped heads. You are too Let strong for Let me tell you something. I'm too strong heart. for you. Before trying to work things out. I would love for us to try to have a second attempt at this. Hey, did you forget it's another woman here that does like you? I think me and okay, me and love person. straddling the fence. And Shay got fed up waiting for Mike to make his choice. If a person have to choose between me and somebody else, choose the other person. So she might make the choice for him. Don't talk that touch to me, Shay. Mother leave me. Then that's what we are doing. Well, goodbye. Shay. No, it took me some time to get to the place that you wanted me to be. Oh, but now I'm ready. I'm going home. I'm going home. No, you can't go home. Girl, I'll f this. I'm going home. If you callous enough to tell me to go home and self eliminate, even though you're talking slick. Shay, no. All right, I'm going to make you eat them words. I'm leaving. So. Give me a hug, bye. You, I thought you said take my mother ass home. Okay. Let me carry your bag for you. Oh, thanks. Are you serious? Or are you just playing? Oh, my God. I thought I was the youngest person in the house. Damn. Do I got to be the grandma? What the f wrong with y'all? OK. That's, that's where we at now? That's where we at you told me in front of a whole bunch of people to take my motherfucking ass home. You just challenged me in there, in front of the people. I make sure everything I do, I ensure you never feel like less than. And I made you feel like less than? Yes, you did. And how so? The way you just communicated to me in there, in front of everybody, if you got to choose me as a person, choose the other person. I'll pop smoke, and you'll lose out. Because I so feel right like there, there should be no choice. I, right. I feel like the choice is obvious. Right. When so we when sit, you hold on, that, when, you, you, when you sit in and talking, financing, and then the request is to have a kid, and then you have to be like, hmm, do I pick A or B? You know who you want to be the mother of your child. We're, we're going through a process. You, if, you can't come and say, you know what? It's the third quarter in the game right now. We, we got one more quarter to go. You want me to sit and, and go through the process when I cut my process short, because I liked you. And I like you, but... you know how I feel about you as well. But you told me in front of a room full of people because whether you your ego, me, okay. You pushed me, push me to a okay. corner. I feel like I should leave. And you not leave? I, no, I, I'm here for you, but if me and you gonna have some issues and have some tension, then there's no reason that I should be here. Shay and I are both like bulls, man. And when two bulls clash together, it's gonna get ugly. But I understand that Shay being here with Shatava here is not comfortable. But let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. I apologize. I apologize for how I responded to how you came at me, mm -hmm. and I respond. I apologize for cursing at you. I shouldn't have said take your mother ass home, but I apologize for that. Okay. Okay. Me and Shay, we've come too far, and I don't want to run the risk of, of Shay and I ruining what we build because of both of our pride. So one of us has to back down. Yeah. I apologize. <laughs> yes, sir! Well, I said two high-heavy people. <sighs> mm. Mm. I'm glad he got his woman back. Mike is carrying her bag, and I'm looking like, are you for real? I had never seen Mike that bad before. I'm over it. If he can come back from that and not want her to storm out the door, I'm feeling some type of way about that. This is some bullshit. Well, I tell you what. 
Like, although you know how to handle drama, you're not about the drama. That's one thing about you. You'll be like, yo, if drama comes for me, I'll handle it, but I ain't about it. I ain't trying to indulge in yeah. it. Yeah. But I, I knew my friend was hurt. I knew her feelings I could, was hurt. I mean, yeah, she's just, and it's not, she's not quick to show that. Yeah. But I knew if he could go out and communicate with her and make it work out, and, she would and, come And back. look at the situation right now. Alex, Tiffany, me, you, him, Shay. I mean, if I was one of those other three, I'd be like. Aaron and I had a connection from the start, but he started to kind of swivel to the right a little bit, so I let him go over there. And when he explored what else was there and came back to me, I felt like the connection was a bit stronger and more real. The good thing about you and I is that we have complete transparency. You know where you stand, that's all that really matters. But you got... Let me go talk to her. You got a situation. Storm. Yes, baby. You got a minute to talk? You wanna talk to me? Going away for the weekend, it was a great time for us to get to know each other away from all the hustle and bustle back home, but uh, I haven't got a chance to talk to Stormy at all. It got wild today, right? Yeah. You think? Yeah. Come closer. Finally, I've been wanting to really have this conversation with Aaron for a while. I need to get some answers. I don't know if you've known this, but for a few weeks now, mm -hmm. whenever we sat down with Tommy, and he's always been like, you know, who's the one you're feeling? Who's the one you're liking? Who's the one you're into? It's been stormy, stormy, stormy. When it comes to me and you, I think that there is something special. Over the last couple of interactions with Aaron, there's been a lot of inconsistency in what he's been telling me and what he's actually been doing. The lack of consistency is making me feel very uncomfortable at this moment. Honestly speaking, right? Right. Nothing has changed from that skating ring, but there's some things that I don't like that I'm hearing. Um, when we were at the Moroccan restaurant, it bothered the living out of me when the comment was made about, you know, the Chante and the Melinda. I mean, I was giving people opportunities that I would never even look at on the street. Shan I mean, when I came into the Mitzvah, right, and I saw Chante on the balcony, I was like, no, Melinda, no, ever, no. And then what the hell happened with the whole Angel and Courtney situation? Mm. I know you told me that me and Courtney were in your top. If that changed, then what has changed about me? Because I hear what you tell me, but I don't know what you're saying about me. So then that kind of baffled me. And I'm like, is this like a strategy or a game that he's playing with me? I'm just at the point where I'm just like, what is it? But let, let me just clear the air on everything that you're saying. Being in an environment like this, it is hard. You know what I mean? It is hard to have to come outside of your natural self to get to know people that you typically, you wouldn't even look twice at. But you know what? I want to be open to this whole process because I've been the same way all my life and obviously it ain't gotten to me to the result that I'm looking for. That's why I'm here. That's why. <laughs> you know, all of us are here. That's why. You know what I mean? So here I am right now. And I see Stormy and Angel. And Stormy has been consistently since the skating ring, the person that I've like, okay, you know what? I can see something special with this. For, for so long, you was riding her. So here I am. I hear his words and what he's telling me, but at this point, I am just really concerned that what he's telling me is actually truth. Anyway, let's continue to enjoy our time here. Yeah. I confronted you at the cabin, and you just said, what? excuse you? Excuse you. But wait, 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 listen, listen. He say, she say, come on now, like, we're grown. Oh, no, I'm very clear. Z, let's chop it up, man. Yeah, man, uh, Versace <laughs> body. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I really have to know What's going on in your head? That situation with Shay, that's what I've been afraid of. Did y'all feel like she was backing me in the corner? I felt like I was being backed in the corner, bro. I felt like you had to state your case. We're not gonna judge you for that. We're prideful men. They're prideful women. They have a lot to protect, as do we. You're in a, in a position right now where you have two women's hearts right there in your palm, as we all do. I don't know, I, I need to make a decision soon. 
Hello, hello. What are y'all doing? Hey. We missing y'all upstairs. Y'all missing us? Yes. Really? What are y'all talking about down here? Yeah, it's me and Aaron. We gotta go. Let's go. Okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna sit and talk here. What's going on, sir? Welcome to the man cave. I see. I like the man cave. I'm feeling it. You have a good time today? Oof. I don't want to start drinking. Mm-hmm. You know, I just learned so much today. It's been a very long day. I learned so much. What did you learn today? This whole journey is really about opening up, you know, and I have to allow myself to open up. And I think that's been the issue with me throughout this entire journey. I think we've had a really good time. I think you're a very cool guy. But I realized after the scene upstairs that maybe you are really into Shay. I felt like in the heat of the argument upstairs, you went for what you wanted. And I don't feel like I can come between that. We just don't have that connection like I thought we were gonna have. I just don't see it. I think, um... Um, uh, man. Um, I think you're right. That I guess it is, it's come to an end. Yeah, I think it has. I heard to see the writing on the wall and read it out loud in front of me and let me know that she sees it. That takes a lot. I respect Shatava immensely and um, she's a queen for certain. But, you know, at the end of the day, still a good guy. Always been a lady. Classy, 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 classy. And one thing about you that I adore is that you're very honest. Mm. But I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Mm. So you just make sure you treat her right and be that strong man for that strong woman. I'll rock with you. <sighs> All right, dear. It's been real. You still give me a hug. Even though this was the right thing, you know, it doesn't take away from the hurt. But it had to come to an end. I have no ill feelings towards her. And whoever ends up with Shatava is going to be a lucky man. Thank you so much for everything. Bye, sweetie. If you just try me, try me. Maybe you There she is. What? Where is everybody at? Yes. What's going on, Shatava? So listen, guys. You know what, so I just got done talking to Mike and you know, basically I told him that which I had in the kitchen when he followed you because he didn't want you to leave, I can't break that connection. And I can only respect that. Like I came into this saying, you know, I'm not here to make friends. I came here for love. And my thing is maybe with me, I need to learn to accept good people in my life when there's good people around me and not be this bitch and not be this mean person. You know, you guys are amazing. Shay, you're amazing. Don't do that, Shatala. We are amazing women that can all be friends, that can all grow from this and can respect a great relationship. And I've learned, I've grown. I was like, maybe I was like, no, he's not into Shay, nah, 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 blah, blah, blah. No, he is. And I can't do anything but respect that. Because at the end of the day, it's about black women loving each other. It's about us having a respect level for each other. You, like I've said some things, you know, I threw the whole age thing out there. It's not even about that. You a good ass woman, yeah, and that's what it's about. Thank you. I can only respect you, Shay. I gotta give big ups to Chitava because she really, really is the epitome of a good woman. Chitava, I got you. I appreciate that. No, I want you to understand. I want to see you flourish and grow. Mm. If I extend myself, that's because I'm for real. Mm. I'm going to the end, okay? Shatava, I take my hat off to you. It takes a lot of courage to back out of a situation with someone when you feel that it's more for someone else. And it felt good to watch her do it with poise and respect and integrity. So listen, 
I don't feel like my journey is it over. Feels like it just I began. just feel like it's just it begin. I, I, I really just feel like that. And you guys, thank y'all so much Aww, for this. Ladies, with all this being said, I'm gonna let y'all have this, Kevin, and I'm leaving. This whole journey has taught me a lot about me going forward. I'm going to take that honesty that I know from Mike and I'm going to look for that in another guy. I'm leaving behind the Shatava that doesn't trust anybody, the Shatava that doesn't want to open up. And I'm walking out a new woman that's more mature, that accepts herself more, that loves herself more. And that's what this journey was about for me. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. See y'all in the morning. Okay. All right, come on. I ain't fooling with you. Good night, everyone. You take it easy. <laughs> Saying goodbye to Shatava, it gives clarity of, of who I truly connect with, which is Shay. And now that she's gone, man, I'm ready to spend my time with the woman I care the most about. We're going to bed. <laughs>
but I have made some very amazing connections that I am interested on building on. Okay. That's just where I'm at with you. What the hell am I hearing? I don't understand. He just told me last night one thing, trying to reassure me that we still had the connection, and then now he's saying something completely different. This is the last straw, and Aaron, you're full of You know, I feel like Aaron is on a separate journey from what I think most of us are on. Are on. And he just said it. He doesn't know it's the ready to love, and, and I'm glad that he said that out loud because that's what I was feeling. There's been some incidents that we discussed at the cabin that threw up red flags for me. And it was concerning because I am on this journey right. and I'm being very vulnerable. And I feel like if I'm being vulnerable, that it's only fair that somebody else is doing the same, same thing. thing. You're right. And so that was one aspect of the Aaron situation. The second aspect is, and it goes back from Melinda to Shantae, to Courtney, to Angel. It bothered me to the core to even hear certain things that's being said. What did I say? I confronted you at the cabin and, and you just what? said, excuse you? Excuse you. What in the world? This was just at the cabin, Aaron, so how could you not tell me? I mean, how could you sit there? The he say, she say, come on now, like we're grown. Excuse me, how could you sit there and I, tell I me? I don't know how you're interpreting what I'm saying. Oh no, I'm very are. clear. Aaron definitely has a problem with being reckless with his mouth. He keeps telling different stories and different versions, and he can't keep up with his lies or his versions any longer. All, you, all this speculation around what you're saying I've said, I, no, come on now. And, and what, what use is this of right now? Anyway, like, it, you know, if, no, if no, you, no, if no, you no, don't, no, if, you, is, if you don't want to be here, please asked, leave. Oh, we're gonna do it. But wait, 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 listen, listen, leave. And it's that's fine choice. with me. Like, and let me just bow, be bow, bow with out you. nice and smoothly. I don't want to hear anything in action. I'm gonna excuse myself. You can have a conversation with yourself. <laughs> Bullshit. You sitting up here talking like we never had this conversation and you never said nothing, man. That's not a man. Punk ass mother. Hi, baby. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to be here, Mommy, please I, leave. I don't want to hear anything in action. I'm going to excuse myself. You can have a conversation with yourself. Punk ass mother. You want to listen to the OG? I'm ready. This is when a man go down there and apologize. I don't even care if you're right. Sometimes you just go down and tell this woman, I'm sorry if I offended you, if I affected you in a certain way, I apologize. That's just man right there. I, I get that, Tommy. I think, I think sometimes time, there's an essence of space that is needed before that can happen, because all you can do is just make the situation worse. All right, all right, y'all finish your drinks and your food, I'll be back. Stormy's being completely messy. She wants to smear everything that I've confided in her with all over the place. For what? That's not even why we're here. I'm lost for words right now. She was just emotional. I don't think that Stormy would sit up and just make up something, but I don't know how she deals with rejection. Like, you have his truth, her truth, and then the truth. Stormy! Are you here to make me cry some no, more? No, <laughs> I'm here to make sure you're all right, baby. I'm, I'm good. You good? I'm good. I don't want to be in these situations anymore because I'm strong, but I have feelings, you know? Of course. I still like Aaron, but it's like another layer that we need to pull back so I can see if he's really serious about finding love. The only person that I, I felt any drawing to any chemistry was with you you know i've heard people on this process just because of my openness so i'm sorry i'm sorry if i hurt you i accept your apology he really has his own agenda and his own journey that he's on what is his agenda his agenda is himself okay. and he's causing casualties with these women. these women and what i don't like tommy is very calculated for him and that's not fair to any of these ladies. Take me out of the equation. I'm OK. Trust me when I tell you. Well, listen, you know how I am. I'm all about the positive. Yes. But I want to say I thank you for being on this journey. I hope that you enjoyed most of it. I enjoyed all of it. OK. okay. All of it. Okay. All of it. And that means a lot to me. 
been around y'all now. You feel like my little sisters, OK? Come on. Give me a hug. Thank you so much. I have absolutely zero regrets. And I couldn't be prouder of myself that I didn't sit there to take another man's bull And that's growth. That's growth for Stormy. Thank you, man. I just want right, you both, to you know? be cautious. I'm always cautious. That's and the I want thing we want to say. Yeah. yeah. Because of the things that we've heard yeah. of him saying. Yeah. Know that I watch as well as I pray. Right. So at the end of the day, y'all don't have to be worried. OK. All right, all right, all right. Hey, hey, hey. Aaron being here with Angel, maybe it's a growth moment for both of them. Maybe Aaron is seeing firsthand how his words and actions really hurt some people. And Angel is discovering what she will and won't tolerate. All right. I spoke with Stormy. She's officially uh, removing herself from this journey. This is what happens, you know, when you just lay things all out on the table. It's, 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 I mean, it's a shock. It's a shock. I mean, and at the end of the day, I mean, I knew Stormy wasn't the one. I knew Stormy wasn't the one that I felt like we could connect, but I was just being open to the process. We're not here to play games. Right. We're here to grow or to find. Right. You're not going to grow from this journey until you keep it real. So in an effort for us as black women and men to do better, it is time to keep it real. You're not gonna grow until you say, yeah, my bad, I f***ed up. I lied, I said this, I did that. I take accountability that I hurt you. Be real with you, because you will never amount to nothing if you don't do that. Alex? What's happening? Boy? <laughs> There's a woman over here, man. <laughs> all right. So since we got it all out, here's the deal. We got one important thing to discuss. Now, Alex, you have to decide which of these women you see a future with. Yes, indeed. I'm the only guy here that still has two women left. I still like Tiffany. I can't escape what we had at the beginning. With Ashley, I feel comfortable when I'm with Ashley. She's very down to earth, and I can relate to that. So at this point in time, I don't know which direction this may turn. After those decisions are made, the next step of your journey is meeting somebody's family. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Now, check this out. When a woman meets your family, you letting her meet your circle of trust. Meeting the families is your last step before deciding if you intend to make this a long-term relationship. Hey, I'm ready to meet Mike's family. You know, it's a whole different game when your family is standing around and they can tell you secrets. They give it to you real, and they love you hard. This is not to be taken lightly at all. It's a big deal. Let me at least say to all of you, I thank you for laying it all on the line to try and find love. That being said, who's ever left? I will see y'all soon. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I didn't give you no number one. What are you talking about? Don't you ever tell me you won't give me a position. I ain't no you option. So, yeah, because you're not. That's you need help. All of this explains why you're single, Tiffany. So at this point, Tommy basically said that I have to choose either one, Ashley or Tiffany. I'm, I'm a little torn. I don't know what to do. So I need to just at least get a date with both of them and make sure I understand what's going on before I make my decision. I'm glad we're on a date solo, and I have you all to myself. Mmm, that you do. That you do, girl. Don't you grab my head like that. God damn it, you know what that brought. Yay. I know Ashley has a very playful side, and I love that, you know what I'm saying? But I also want to see the serious side, you know, because being in love is serious to me. So I want to make sure it's serious to her and that we're on the same level. We're definitely going to do some dancing <laughs> tonight. Yeah, well, you know, it just depends on how many drinks I have. I have been itching to get this big chocolate man on the dance floor. Yeah, girl. Wow. He was very intimate. He scooted in, and he made sure he was, like, right there with me. Like, he just made sure I felt sexy. It felt wanted. It felt really good. <laughs> Damn. 
Ooh, the green cat suit did its job, baby. Can't wait to wear it again. How how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good, man. No, I'm not gonna lie to you. It took some serious consideration because I know Tiffany and I, we hit it off first and it was so, you know, uh, just crazy how this turned right now because now I'm with you and I, I feel something like genuine and it's different. Right. And, you know, I mean, we, we've been consistent. Tiffany and I are two different women. And I think she has a mode she wants to put her man in and she's definitely trying to put Alex into this mode. I am done trying to change men. You need to find someone that you like from the gate. When it comes to me and Alex, I believe that we truly respect one another's space and the person that we both are. And that's how we click. Now, it is something that I did want to talk to you about. I know you've noticed that I don't kiss. Um, but I, I'm just the type of woman where I feel that I shouldn't rush anything and when the bag is secured or when my man is my man, and then that's when I'm open for that. So I didn't want you to think that I was being stiff on you or anything like that. I don't want that to block anything from us, but I just kind of move at my own pace and I wanted to be open with you about that. Okay, okay. Well, that makes sense. I understand the type of position that you're in. Right. You know what I mean? And yeah, you good. Okay. I'm definitely glad that Ashley is opening herself up a bit. She has a lot of walls up, but now she's really showing that maturity, that sexy, that classy, all woman. Chocolaticity just like me, <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, man, see that? That smile, man, that, that laugh, those cheeks. You know what I'm saying? You just, you're a special person. That makes me feel good. I'm glad we're on the same page. At least okay. we are. Can we toast to that? Toast. Toast to our good life. Hey, I like that. How you doing? From the start, Tiffany and I had this magnetic attraction. We've had a couple of hiccups, but every couple, every relationship has its ups and downs. I'm open, I'm here. You know, I just want to make sure that Tiffany and I can still rekindle that fire and that magic. Ah. Yeah. Now that's a little fast. Ah. So Alex and I have this discussion at the dinner. I felt confident in saying, yeah, we turned this corner and, you know, we're good. So when Alex felt the need, to say to Ashley, you're an amazing woman, I've got respect for you, you know, you're a wonderful person. I'm like, what the hell, why, why? All right, it's your turn. Let's see what you got. Uh, something on your mind? I mean, it's a whole lot on my mind. Yeah, <laughs> you ain't the only one. I think this whole experience has been me being put on hold trying to figure you out. I feel like you took advantage of exploring all these women. You've led both me and Ashley along. So you think I'm leading people along? Hell yeah! What else would you call it? Oh, can I get a glass of Merlot, please, if you don't mind? I was patient. Rather than be the cutoff queen, which I always do, give this man some time. That's what he asked me to do, be more understanding. Give him some time to sort through this stuff, which I did. But now I see you don't know how to take the heat. You I don't, don't know how to, take how to the heat. you know you run. I've been in the heat. What are you talking about? Uh, get out of here. Please get out of here. Save that. You ain't never messed with no grown woman. And just like the game of baseball, you exactly. chose the fastball with me and you can't. Your past, you, you can't, can't handle, handle the fastball. See, see, here we go you again. couldn't, you need here to stay in your again. lane. You are so quick to judge and check a man instead of checking your own day. I ain't gotta, what do I need to check myself on? Please tell me where I misled you. Do you see what you're doing? I haven't disrespected you at all, so y'all. You've disrespected me off all of this. Did I initially take that position of number one and give it back to you? No, I did not. You ain't gotta give me no mother position. Don't you ever tell me you gonna give me a position. I ain't no you option. You are showing. I ain't no option. This ain't yeah, no game I, I, show. Yeah, I didn't give this you is no Number one, what are you talking about? You can't give me number one. Yeah, because you're not. Because you can't. Because you're not. You can't give me number one. Yeah, because you're not. Because you can't. Because you're not. That's you need help. I'm confused. I don't know if oh, I want the lollipop right or the bag of cotton candy. Oh, oh, really? You need to, you know why what? Why this explains why you're single, Tiffany? 
It explains So now you're, you're doing the errand. I'm, Very good. This, you're taking this notes explains from us. This why is you're cute. single. That's Ain't nobody cute. taking notes. Can you be original? Come yeah, up with some OG stuff? Woman? Are you so scarred from, from, from black men that you just automatically prejudge on how people are? Yeah, but you're to, dismissed. To, to, to but you're course. dismissed. Because you can't stand the heat. I thought Tiffany and I were on a, a different level. You know what I'm saying? And it was just kind of messed up how things unfolded. When you let your emotions take control of you, that's a clear sign of immaturity. I allowed her to get me out of pocket to where I'm throwing shots back at her and my delivery was messed up. My biggest regret when it comes to Tiffany is that we moved too fast. We jumped straight in like we were two kids at the sandbox that just had butterflies and all of that. We didn't establish friendship. And that's one thing that Ashley and I actually established before we did anything. Alex and I are obviously at very different points in our life. It's not my job to convince you to be anything other than who you are. And I fought hard against it. I do feel I owe Alex an apology because I should not have delivered my feelings with the intensity that I did. Even if we didn't see eye to eye, he deserved more respect than that. I've learned a lot through this experience and I know I'll only be greater for whatever's next for me in the world of love. It's down to six people hoping to find love. What's up guys? Hey. Here she is. Hi. How are you doing? What you got me into? <laughs> Alex still needs to see if he can bring Ashley's walls down and get to a deeper level. What Mike and Shay are smitten, but with their big tempers and uncertainty about children, questions remain. And Aaron finally doesn't have multiple women to juggle. But where does he truly stand with Angel? I got something for you. What you got for me? Uh, some rosé. Alex! Just a little something, just They're like so that. so cute! That's hey, cute! No problem. But now that Tiffany is out the picture, my head is uh, a lot more clear. Yeah. What you want to drink? Patron. And water. Patron and water. Just because Ashley's the last girl standing doesn't mean that I've made my final decision. I just need to know more. And I'm sure she does too, most definitely. I mean, it's a two-way street. Well, I hope you like the flowers. My flowers are beautiful. That's what's up. That was really sweet. Thank you so much. Yeah. How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling really good. I had a lot on my mind coming over here. You know what I'm oh, saying? Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, just we have been exposed to you know all sorts of people. You know what I'm saying? To see if there is a connection, and the connection that I have with you is the most dominant. I feel good where this is going. You're, you're just a, you're a beautiful person, you know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> so now uh, through in this process and us getting closer, okay. um, I want you to meet my friend. I'm all in, let's yeah. go. Y'all need the fan? Bring them all, little babies, little cousins, Dang, little baby cousins uncles. and everything? I'm good. Okay then. I'm good, I'm gonna yeah. fit right in. Okay, yeah, I mean, I just think this is uh, a good opportunity for us to Definitely. really, really fill in some of the blanks and, and some of the question marks that we have about each other. Right. And uh, just, you know, just like you said, man, just see where it goes. I'm excited. Yeah, so am I. So am I. I've been into Alex since day one. I need to make sure that I resurface and think, am I ready for Alex? And is this what I want? Am I ready to love him and only him? I like this. You like this? Mm -hmm. How was your week? My week was cool. With the exception of the weekend. Couldn't enjoy it? I couldn't enjoy it because I had so much anxiety going there. How did you like it? It was beautiful. I think that the cabin solidified where my heart was, regardless of what I was saying out of my mouth. You trying to leave, I wasn't having it. Mm -hmm. You know, my only concern at the moment was you. You know? So although I was outside saying, I'm on this journey, uh -huh. it was clear that my heart was off the journey. Okay. Kind of like you. You like me kind of? Yes. That was kind of good. 
Give me some more of them gummy bears, girl. Mm. Nah. That took a lot. Took a lot of nerve. So, most men wouldn't even do that. And I appreciate you. And you're a big guy with a big heart. <laughs> so, uh, something's very important for me. I want you to meet okay. my spiritual father. Okay. My, my baba. He's, he's family to me. How he feels is important to me. How you feel about that? I'm cool with that. Okay. I'm excited. Close your eyes, Jacob. About to get real. <laughs> 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 When Tommy mentioned introducing our new love interest to our families, I was like, what? Is it Tom right? I don't even know what to do at this point. Hey, Aaron, what's up? Hey. Next time on the season finale of Ready to Love. Tommy has a set up to uh, go out and meet each other's family. Uh, it's coming with some problems. Introducing someone to my son is a real big deal. Have you ever cheated? You think he's a player? That's exactly what I think he is. He wants some kids. What? This comes down to one more crucial moment. Look each other in the eye and decide. Do you both think that this is the real thing? The Hit Dating Series returns. Subscribe to our channel for more Ready to Love.